Hey everyone, it's been a while since I made a video, like what a month? It's just, like I said, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like it, YouTube making all these new changes and it's getting more annoying to adapt to these changes, but you know, I'm getting slowly back into it, making more videos again, so I'll be uploading more. As this year I want to like do some more stuff. You know, at first I wanted to get like a capture card, make like fancier stuff, but I just don't care. But you know, that's for a different video. You know, next video for like game updates and shit like that. I still have a massive game update to do since like what last year or something. But this is gonna be another summoning video today. Um, something just announced. Then, well, they didn't just announce a new album, it's been in the making for a long time, but they just um, released the cover for it, so I wanted to show you guys that. And at the meantime, I was like, you know, they released some new vinyls as well, like two new vinyls, um, LPs of Stronghold and Let Motor Hero Sing Your Fame. I figured I could show you guys that. That they released. Um, this is one of the nicer ones. Um, I'm leaving mine sealed for now, even though they're so fat that they already split up and shit because of the sheer amount of shit in here. Because um, it's a double uh, vinyl, you know. Obviously, it's gonna be having four sides, and this version that I have here is the strictly limited edition to 200 copies uh, gold edition um, there's some other people online that can show you it it's kind of like the same gold type as um, I want to say Zelda the Wind Waker like the disc of Wind Waker or some shit like that that's like a whole different thing but whatever um, then they also released, um, it's about the same time I think they released this, and this is my favorite, is Stronghold. Um, I think I said it, um, that Moita Hero Sing Your Fame was limited to 200 copies worldwide, and you guys should get it, because if you can still can, I think you should still be able to, because you paid like, about 30 bucks for it, including shipping. And, you know, the sound in these babies is so... You cannot compare this to a CD. The sound in this is insane. It's like studio quality sound you get from Venos, you know. And, um, yeah, it's basically just re-releases of the album. There's no new content in it. Uh, Stronghold is limited to 300 copies uh worldwide and this is like an orange kind of i think it's a bit weird because i like the gold of the that motor hero singer frame this orange is kind of flashy but it's still very nice and like i said it's my favorite summoning album by far stronghold uh, it's also actually the first album i got of them and stronghold is the album i got to know these guys through now uh, i've actually even been to uh, Napalm Records, not inside fortunately, but um, I've lived in Austria for a year, you know, summoning um, Sven is on Protector, um, Richard Lederer and Miguel Gregor, they are Austrian, and I've lived in Austria for a little over a year and a half, I think, and my fiance is Austrian, you know, that's why. Um, if you've even been there, I'll show you guys a pic of that as well. And it's a beautiful country, it's fucking amazing. Uh, it actually has a lot of the new album cover. And um, I'll just show you guys the other albums that you still have them. Uh, Lugbird. I can show you guys because this one um, is opened already. No. No. Then at least you would have seen something coming here. Now, Lugbird. Is the first album, not counting any demos and whatnot, um, the first officially released album, and there were still three members here. Trifixion is an ex member, and I think they didn't break up in very good 
spirits, I guess you could say. But, you know, you get that a lot these days, but I'm glad they did, because I wonder how the music would have been had they still been all three original members. Okay, I gotta start this one carefully here. There you go. So yeah, look, I think by now they've released all albums on LP. Uh, obviously I bought all of them when they came out. Then we have Nightshade Forest. Amazing album. Be careful with the light, you know, I just woke up and said, I just learned that they finally released the cover. I just got my tea here. My awesome cool Dragon Ball mug, you know. Then we have... Um, Oh, my second favorite album, at least it has my favorite song by far on it, it's Oathbound. My favorite song is by far Balerion, it's a freaking masterpiece. Yeah. Even though I see um, Richard Leto as somehow like the <laughs> leader, how you want to say it, it's very weird. You know, it's just the first name that always pops up in my head. I love Silenius and Michael Gregor's vocals a lot better. As part of summoning, I have to say, I don't know, maybe because they're a bit more scratchy or raspy. I don't know how to say it, but it's just a personal preference of mine. It doesn't mean I don't like um, Protector. Summoning has no bad songs. And um, finally, what I had, um, I think I didn't say it, but um, Oathbound was like limited to 500 copies. Um, Nightshade Forest as well, Look Burst 2 or something like that. All of them are basically very strictly limited, but none are as limited as um, Let Mother Hero Sing Your Fame was. And finally, limited to 1000 pieces of shorted before already the Middle Earth, Sounds of Middle Earth box set, which contains um, Look Birds, which I do still have sealed, um, Minos Murgle and Dol Guldur, which are like the final two that don't have a separate release yet. Oh, and like Picture of an All Edition and shit like that. So yeah, oh no wait, and then one final thing they released, and I like that, is um, cassette tape. Cassette tape. And number two, 100 copies. <laughs> I think I paid like six bucks for this brand new, of course, from the official um, side of um, Wealth Promotion that released this one. So yeah, that's it for this video. I almost forgot actually, um, the limited edition Lamont Heroes Sing Your Fame LP also came with a hand-signed quite a protector uh, himself. Yeah, so I'll be, I'm back, you know, I'll try to make more videos. I like making videos, it's just that YouTube's been dying and shit. So, yeah, prepare for the next video for, like, the, the biggest game update ever, considering I didn't make any video for, like, a month, and I, I never, like, didn't make a game update for, like, several months. And um, I got a crap load of stuff, I'm not just counting the Wii U, which you cannot see. So, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, I've had a few nice new subscribers lately, I always appreciate it, I love reading comments and shit, you know. So, I've been having a lot of new Dutch subscribers and a lot of metal subscribers, so this year I'm gonna try and keep in the videos nicely balanced, you know, but it's gonna be mostly metal related and video games related. I used to do all these vlogs and stuff, it's just, I don't know, I didn't really have a drive to complain that much just before, you know, I, I want to keep it more as a relaxed type of hobby. But, you know, if I have to complain, I have to complain. There's so much to complain about in this world. It's sad, really. So, yes, thank you guys for watching. Stay real.